Back in the book segment tonight, the Obama administration continues to say the IRS allegedly targeting conservative groups is a bogus situation. There's not a single shred of evidence to substantiate the Republican conspiracy theories that they uh, continue to uh, mysteriously talk about. And yet two years worth of emails have mysteriously gone missing. Well, uh, that's not quite accurate, right? 24,000 of those emails have been produced to Congress. Uh, joining us now from Washington, senior White House correspondent Wendell Gohler, also chief congressional correspondent Mike Emanuel is covering the IRS hearing going on right now. So Wendell, I mean, um, he was playing games with you. Uh, he knows what you were talking about. Two years of emails pertaining to this investigation went missing, not all the emails. They always do this kind of stuff. Did that get you angry that they always kind of parse it? <laughs> No, the folks here are sticking with the story, which is that the targeting of Tea Party groups looking for tax exempt status may have been bad management, but there's no evidence that it was politically motivated. Now, the current IRS head promised to provide all the emails sent by Lois Lerner, who was the former head of the uh, department that dealt with tax exempt status. Fact is, the IRS told the White House Counsel's Office two months before it told Congress that some of Ms. Lerner's emails were lost when her computer crashed. Now, House Oversight Committee Chair Daryl Issa is trying to determine if the IRS did all it could to recover those emails. Uh, the right. Obamacare <laughs> website rollout showed what a lot of people do a long time before, uh, Bill, and that is that the government does IT very poorly. Old computers, dated software, many agencies still but using it doesn't Windows really matter XP, at this point, Go, uh, Wendell, which Microsoft no longer supports. Yeah, it doesn't matter because wherever those emails are, they're gone, okay? Unless she sent them to somebody and they held on to them, and they may damn well sure they're gone. Now, do I, am I a conspiratorialist? Nah, but I don't, I don't particularly buy the line coming out of the IRS. Now, uh, Mike, in the hearing that's going on now, it started at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. This evening we're live here. Is there a headline or is it the same old, same old? Well, Bill, uh, a lot of the Republican members have been saying to John Koskin and the IRS commissioner, if you're a man of integrity, you should pick up the phone, you should call the FBI and call for a special prosecutor. You can feel the frustration from Republican members who feel like a crime has been committed between the targeting of conservative groups and now the disappearance magically of all these emails. There was some tension between Chairman Darrell Issa and John Koskin and Issa wondering why they don't, don't do a better job of maintaining these emails. Koskinen said, well, we were told it would be 10 to 20 million dollars to upgrade the system. I said countered with, well, your IT budget is 1.8 billion dollars. Figure it out. And so a lot of Republicans are saying you're hearing the classic excuse, either our technology is out of date or we're not properly funded. John Micah, Republican of Florida, described uh, Koskinen as, as a man of integrity, a fine public servant, but said he's like the guy at the end of the parade, uh, basically with a shovel or a broom. Bill. Yeah, following the uh, the animals, and I get it. Cassian wasn't there. He was appointed. He's a Democratic big shot. Um, you know, he's, he's cleaning up the mess, and that was a pretty good analogy that he made. But look, the American people are angry about this, those who care. Uh, you know, the federal government losing all of this stuff really looks bad, really does. And um, that's all we can do is follow the story, and they're not, they're not going to get a special prosecutor, I don't think. Gentlemen, thanks very much.